Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of NEA's newest podcast series. Throughout this series, we will be sharing juicy snippets of NEA's involvement during this circuit breaker period and our response to the COVID-19 situation. I am Noel Gabriel and I'll be your host for today. Today, we turn to our very own NEA officers. These frontline heroes have been tenaciously putting in the hours in the country's battle against the spread of COVID-19. With us, we have Cairo and Kumaran, both from the Department of Public Cleanliness. Please welcome Cairo and Kumaran. Okay, let's jump right into it, okay? So, can you tell us more about your role as an NEA officer during this COVID-19 outbreak? Yeah, hi, I'm Cairo. Um, my role in the, this particular ops for COVID-19 since started since if of uh, Chinese New Year. So we are part of the ops cell for the entire COVID-19 task force operations. So I'm particularly focusing on more of the commercial premise. Uh, how about Kumaran? What, what do you do? For myself, we'll be focusing more on residential premises. Okay, I understand that DPC is also helping to deliver cleaning kits to residential estate owners. What are in these packages and how has the overall resident response been so far? So what's in the kit is actually a bottle of bleach. Then we have our interim guidelines. And then after that, we have the set, some gloves and surgical masks. So when we actually hand this out to all the residents, they, they are actually like pretty um, like shocked. Some of them ask, do we have to pay for this? I said, no. Is the like for you to just use it to clean and disinfect all your high touch areas in the house, and then we also get some residents asking, do we have to use bleach? And then I said, if you can actually see the guideline, there are actually other products we can actually use if you don't want to use the bleach. Are there any memorable cases that you have encountered so far in just this um, delivering of packages? Yeah, some of them are too worried that they don't even show their face, you only see their eyes popping out from the door gap. Like for those landed estates, the residents don't mm-hmm. tend to come out of their house door. So what they do is they will actually shout from the door and then I'll be at the gate. <laughs> 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 and then I'll tell them, so you can actually come forward, you know, you don't have to shout. You can still within your compound, you can still talk. Okay, so since you guys are always on the ground, aren't you guys like worried that you may through your job, through your outreach, contract the virus themselves? Wow, that part actually, the fear that we had earlier stage, but of course the training kicks in, I start to calm down and all this will actually just be smooth for me. Before I go back to my family, I must make sure that I change my clothing. Yeah, because I need to meet my three kids and my wife and my family. So I don't want this thing to, you know, go to them, of course. For me, yeah, same thing, like, you know, we went through the training on how to not cross-contaminate, so that part actually kicks in when we put on our PPE. Once every case is attended, we actually disinfect ourselves. If once I get home straight away, hit the shower, you know, not sit around. Yeah. We also don't lean on anything. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's actually interesting, you know, you do not lean on anything. People may not oh, yeah, because when we go to, like, the HDB areas, like, the common areas are not disinfected yet, you know. When, yes. when you're going to wait for the TC, you have this tendency of like, you know, let's just sit at the point that you know, we actually don't know yeah. it. Yeah, so yeah. just be mindful like, okay, we just stand and wait somewhere. Since you guys already have so much of knowledge over here, you see, like you're doing things that we will not be aware of, like not leaning, not sitting down and in certain places mm-hmm. and washing your hands. What tips or advice can you give to people at home and people listening in on containing the spread of this COVID-19? situation. How do you no, I'm use, using keys to press lift buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, handphones and keys. Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once I get back home, I actually wipe the key down with alcohol wipe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, of course, if you're sick, please don't go to work. Uh, yeah, practice a good hygiene. And of course, for the cleaners, you need to plan where you need to start, where you need to end. Because if you do cleaning or sweeping or just prop, uh, normal mopping, you can see that, that you can tackle it and then that, 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 that's it. But for this infection, you need to do it properly. So you need to plan your, your route in and out. So you don't have the, all this cross-contamination. So it's a matter of 
don't be complacent and must be take must take it very seriously. Yes, uh, Karul, that's right. So on the on the topic of complacency, are there things that we should be doing like changes to our let's say our social habits or our lifestyle instead? You don't need to be a rocket science to you know to to just uh, scientists to just to get over this virus. Minimally, if you don't want to protect others, but at least yourself, maintain the hygiene. Mm. If you need to sneeze, please use the tissue. If you are sick, please stay at home. At least basic, but it's just a matter of people thought, ah, yeah, this is nothing, you know. Okay. Do you have any final words of wisdom for our listeners over here? With me, I would say for. The circuit breaker, please stay at home. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think we have to keep ourselves safe man, because yeah, like the simple things that we can't do daily, like going watching a movie in the cinemas, are all at the moment at a pause right now. So we must find like something new, you know, connect with people. For me, okay. of course, uh, I actually I miss my family, I miss my parents. So this circuit breaker, please comply with it because uh, if this thing does not go off of course you know i miss more of my parents i miss more of my kids so let's stay safe and of course uh, give your support give your appreciation to all our frontline officers who are there actually to guide you guys and not to you know uh, uh, scold you or whatever actually we want everybody to be safe of course okay thank you so much Cairo. thank you kumaran really valuable I hope our listeners there will act on your advice and I hope they don't eyeball you from the gate anymore. They let you come and talk to them. (laughs) (laughs) And that's about the time we have today. From learning firsthand about NEA's role in combating this COVID-19 crisis to the sacrifices made by officers and their families. I too am actually working from home during this period. Personally, this has been a rather interesting and welcome arrangement. I get to spend more time with my beloved pets and have actual hearty breakfasts every morning. However, as lazy as I may be, because of the current COVID-19 situation, I've been doing my utmost best to practice good and responsible hygiene habits, which includes washing my hands regularly with soap, using a tissue when sneezing or coughing, and binning my litter, and so on. If you want to get a full list of 7 habits, you can find it on NEA's website, okay? Okay, so on that note, I hope everyone listening in plays their part in our country's fight against COVID. Maintain a high level of personal hygiene and only head out if you absolutely must. Remember, the more we stay at home, the sooner we get to Rome. Alright, cheers guys!